This is a historic moment. A feeling of relief came over me. Is it real? Can we finally exhale? It is only proper and fitting that the first black woman vice president of the United States be a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, the oldest black sorority in the world. Not only is she the first woman, but she's the first African-American, the first South Asian-American, the first HBCU grad, as well as the first member of a D9 organization. She's indeed the epitome of stellar leadership with a passion for service. After all, her sorority's motto is service to all mankind. We really just try to make a difference in the community and being a part of this sorority right now validates everything that we have worked to do for the past several years. This inauguration is a culmination of the hopes and dreams of our founders who 113 years ago, on the campus of Howard University, black women, college educated in particular, could come together and share their skills, their talents, their ideas to serve their communities and make an impact. A foundation such as this has made this moment possible as we continue to see black women and Alpha Kappa Alpha women at that shattering barriers. Her winning made me recognize the value of my race and my womanhood. It renews my dedication to excellence at every aspect of my life. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. When Kamala Harris made her remarks, that spoke volumes for so many young girls out there that you can serve a high role in the administration. VP Harris will encourage them to never be afraid of being too ambitious. Kamala Harris will inspire all little girls, especially black and brown girls, to dream the big dream and to reach for the stars without barriers such as racism and sexism. As far as our democracy goes, we have a lot of work to do. You see it right now, currently with our political climate, but I do believe that her being in the White House um, can definitely bring a change. Remember, you were put here in this moment, in this place, for a time such as this. Some days will be hard, but remember, these chucks and pearls are behind you every step of the way. Kamala Mysore, when young women see you, specifically women of color, they want to be just like you. They believe that one day they too can be vice president or even president of the United States. Continue to set the standard as an Alpha Kappa Alpha woman and know that you have so many people rooting for you. Madam Vice President, you got this. There are millions of us lifting you up, praying for you, and we know that you will succeed. Be your authentic self, continue to speak truth to power, and know we got your back. Good luck, Sora, Kamala, and best wishes for a prosperous and a productive four years of stellar leadership. And to the woman most responsible for my presence here today, my mother, I am thinking about her and about the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women, who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way.